Hello I'm Karen and this is going to be part two of how to make this beautiful little hat so if you've come to this one first please go and have a look for the same description but it's just got a number one at the beginning of it to find the beginning okay um, this is just one that I'm showing that's just done in a different this is a, a, a stripey yarn that comes out like this so it actually gives a, quite a different effect um, with the same pattern anyway let's get on to this one so this one is the one that I've already started and now I'm going to be sharing with you how to add the actual edging of this um, whoa, <laughs> this pattern and so as you've been working you'll have realized that you all of your ends are sorted sort of took over and you just so you just all I've done is just done you know like if you do your chain of five so that's one two three four five and you've slip stitched or single crocheted into the next space like this so that's where I finished there okay and then what you do is from now onwards that you're just going to work on the outside loop and you're going to work the three single crochet or double crochet if you're in the UK so that's three and then make your chain of three one two three and work three one two and three and this is actually going to bring your work out because it's been being tucked in all of the time two three and make a chain of three one two three um, and no it won't come out straight away one two three because as you were you can still see that that they they start to tuck themselves back inside um but obviously with adding the other extra bits on it makes it kick right out so um it looks beautiful when it's done to there so that's three one two three and these that you're doing is making the same points of your star one two three <clears throat> making the points of your star just like you did at the very beginning so that's one two three one two three and one I'm stuck two three okay you're just going to keep on doing this all the way around when you'll end up with 16 points that's one two three one two three and if you haven't got 16 points then that means you've gone wrong somewhere but it will still work so don't worry one two three <clears throat> into the next one one two three one two three and I know that some of you may not want to crochet along with me so you can just fast forward to three so you can see the end but um, I know that there's those of you that like to work along with me so I'm doing all of it just so that you can see so that's one two three one two three one whoops it easy two three I'm trying to keep it away from the camera because if, if I hold it out I want to it's too close to the camera one two three one two three one two three Ooh. and I already cut off my arm for this one because I actually already did it and then I realized I'd um my video went wrong so one two three 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 I haven't got my tension right there one two three 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 one two
two three and yes because you know I've already come to the end of it we are going to have to cut off the yarn again just like we did at the beginning so you do end up with a few more little um, ends to sew in than you would have a normal hat that's my three one two three three two three three one ooh, uh. <laughs> one two three one two three one two I'm getting tangled up and three one two three one two three one Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. We're nearly at the end of the round. <clears throat> one, two. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, last loop, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, and three. And then we're going to slip stitch or single crochet. You just need to move that loop a little bit out of the way. Slip stitch or single crochet to finish. And then you will need to cut off your yarn. I've already cut off my yarn. Um, and so I'm just going to just bring that through to the other side. That's obviously far too long, but like I said, I had a bit of an accident earlier on. So, um, But as you can see, at this point, it still makes quite a cute little... Um, hat with its little pointed edges so you could leave it like that if you wanted to but they still actually tuck in a little bit so when you actually go to put the hat on they do actually um, accidentally get cut in um, put inside so I'm just going to get my other yarn and we're going to um, start again so start again with this slip knot if you prefer or you can do the twist <laughs> you can do the twist that sounds like the song <laughs> and so um, what I'm going to do is look for roughly the same point where I actually started I don't know why it doesn't really make any difference whatsoever but we're going to just slip stitch or single crochet into place and then make the chain of two one two so this is like when we was doing the beginning part we're going to work a double crochet or a treble crochet into the middle stitch of the three stitches I'm going to do this all the way around and then make a chain of two and slip stitch in into the actual point or single crochet into the point chain two out of the point and then work the double crochet or the single um, triple crochet sorry and you're gonna to have to keep on um, oops a daisy sort of because you these points say as you're working they actually they took themselves in one two um just for this round so you're gonna have to keep pulling them and manipulating your work to uncurve it because it, it just curves in naturally and then when we've done the end of this round we'll be doing one more round which will um this is exactly the same as you would be doing on the edge of your blanket so um, that means that if you make the blanket and you, um, the actual hat is going to match your blanket one two and I just think that that's a really lovely thing to be able to make a little set and I know that this is actually a little bit big um, but it's nice actually that you actually make something a little bit bigger because babies that always grow and whatever you make for them as a brand new baby they're only in and out of it 
as quick as a flash <laughs> um, and so they don't really get that much wear one two into the point of the star one two and like I said this this hat should fit one um, I would say from two to three months realistically whoops it easy I've gone underneath one strand I need to go underneath two and stitch into that middle one stitch there chain two into the point of the star chain two out of the star into the middle stitch there and into the middle stitch there and saying if you haven't actually made the blanket and then um, hopefully this will entice you <laughs> into going and watching how to make the blanket one two aren't I awful <laughs> and we need to work the stitch into there chain two and slip stitching or single crocheting chain two out of this point of the star working into the middle stitch here and into the middle stitch there and chain two into the point chain two out of the point and working the stitch in the middle and saying if you didn't know how I actually came up with the ideas for this um, I did do a little preview video one two of my meteor collection to tell the story of how I actually um, I saw a meteor and it was just so beautiful and I've been wanting to make something I wanted to make a doily for ages and but I, I like working with yarn rather than the smaller hooks and the tiny, tiny cotton. So this was designed for wool or for yarn. It's actually acrylic yarn because the wool yarn makes me itch. Chain two and work into there. And so this was all designed purely because I saw a meteor. <laughs> and I know. I'm probably ready for the asylum. <laughs> One, two. Not really, I'm just joking. Chain two out of the point. Into the middle stitch there. Into the stitch there. Chain two. <clears throat> I'm coming up yeah, nearly at the end of the round. Chain two, <clears throat> I'm sorry, and double crochet or triple crochet into the middle stitch of those three stitches we did. Chain two, slip stitching or single crocheting, chain two out, working into the middle, and working into the middle. Chain two and then slip stitching or single crocheting into the actual um start of set. Do you know I'm really sorry, it's really weird. You know, it's like I've just had like um like a deja vu moment. That was really bizarre. Um now we're going to work over these the chain of two, and we're working three stitches. That's one two three and then we're going to work um uh, in between the posts we work in the same uh, it's a single crochet if you're in the us or it's a double crochet if you're in the uk and so we're working in three stitches over this chain here so that's one two three and then this is actually the point of the star and so we're doing the slip stitch or the single crochet yeah, it was really weird. I know that I've done the, the blanket pattern and I know that this is very, very similar, but like it was, um, I did. I just had like the weirdest moment, like I've been here and done this before. Um, and 
I know I haven't, but that was just like really strange. I'm so sorry, distracting myself during the video. But I don't know, have you ever had a deja vu moment? Maybe you'd like to put that in the comment box, um, blah, <laughs> comment box below. One, two, three. Um, <clears throat> I have had them before, and it's a long time ago since I had one, and it's like I say, it's just the weirdest thing. Um, it just, it was one of those ones where I just like I just wanted just to stop and like take it all in, but you know, if I don't know, um, how it, it may have happened to you before, but. You know, when you've had those things where you, you, you feel like you've been there, seen it, done it, you know what's going to come next. Um, that was really, really strange. <laughs> so, um, I tell you, I am. <laughs> but that's it. Get me straight jacket out quick. <laughs> Two, three. Um, into the middle of the posts there. <clears throat> oh dear, this has turned that into a strange video. I never expected that to happen. One, two, three, and slip stitching or single crocheting. And then this is a single crochet if you're in the U in the US or a double crochet if you're in the UK. A double crochet or single crochet between the posts and three over the chains. One, two, three. That's going to distract me now. You know, like for the rest of the day, I'm going to be like, oh, that was really weird. <laughs> One, two, three. One in the middle of there. One, two, three. Slip stitching or single crochet into the point of the star. One, two, three over the chain, <clears throat> one in between the posts and three over the chain. So that's one, two and three. Slip stitching or single crocheting into the point of the star. One, two, three and one in the middle, one, two, three, slip stitching or single crocheting. How far am I? I'm nearly at the end. I'm going to carry on going until I get to the end. Um, I know that some of you, like, you know what to do, so that you don't really need to sit and crochet along with me. But say, I know that there's those of you that do like to, um, and they, they I know, I, I, I do, I love reading my comments. You know, it's like such a, a thing, you know, it's so nice, you know, like when I'm having a bad day. Um, I go and read all of my comments and I'm like oh that is such a nice thing to say and like oh thank you for this and thank you for that and I sit there talking to myself and because I know I know if I start actually trying to write to everybody because I'm really slow at typing um, I never used to be because um, I, I learned how to type you know like on the, on, on the proper typewriter where it's got all the le all the layers and so it's so, so sort of working up and down and to actually type on the keyboard where it's all flat I don't know why I just seem to it's um I don't know it's just I think I just don't seem to get on with it the same way it's just um I don't know it's just because I'm old <laughs> just I'm getting old you have to you know and that's something else as well and I was thinking about that it's like what happens when I die you know like what about all of my videos and like um I'm gonna to have to um, make sure that like they still stay there for when I'm dead, so you can all still watch these when I'm when I'm dead and gone, <laughs> and I'll be like a ghost. Well, I won't because obviously I'm real right now, but um, you know what I mean. It's because of that deja vu thing. It's just really, really played with my brain. <laughs> so uh, I'm having a, I'm having a mad moment, but yeah, I don't know. Do you think about things like that? Do you think about those things and um, I, I know that it's like I have, you know, like with having poorly parents and things, we've, we've discussed, you know, like how, what do you want when you die? You know, like um, what would you like? Would you like to be buried or would you like to be cremated? Um, is there anything in particular that you'd like to like wear inside your coffin 
what music would you like to be played um like do you want everybody to be wearing black or would you prefer it that everybody wears a color and so that they celebrate your life um, rather than be miserable that you're dead um you know all of those sorts of things we we've um we've discussed all of that but i think that's because we're a very open family really um when it comes to things like that um but yeah you know these things happen don't they it's like we don't always live forever but i would love to i'd be like you know i want to be like peter pan <laughs> live forever and ever and ever because it's like there's so much um in the world like to to see and to do and and I'd love to be like really, really, really rich. I can afford to go to all of those places and never ever have to worry about money or anything. That'd be just so cool. <laughs> One, two, there we are. We'll come to the end of the round. And at the end of the round for this one, because you started off with um, slip stitching or a single crochet into the actual point of the star, you finish in exactly the same way. And you cut off your yarn. And by rights, you should go and sew your ends in. But because I'm not prepared properly for my video today, I forgot my needle. So I'm not going to show you how to sew the ends in. <laughs> um, I'm just going to tuck them all inside and just say, there we go. Um, there you go, look. So there we go. I'll finish this hat. And we'll just get back my little model, my poor model, look, with its flat head. It was all, it's got sort of got an indent in it. So um, I got it for a special offer because um she was damaged property when i bought her or him but there you go look it does fit if anything it's slipping off a little bit so it's slightly big so definitely would say because this i've measured look i'll show you the measurements um they say when you're measuring um for a baby's hat i'm going to turn yeah we'll have it that way around so you can see both the centimeters and the inches you're supposed to measure the baby's head above the brow and as you can see, oh, sorry, it's upside down. <laughs> um, it's 15 centimetres or 38, oh my gosh, I can't even say that right, 15 inches or 38 centimetres. And um, when I was looking at the charts, um, a newborn baby's head is um, 13 and a half. So that's there. So we've got, so I've, I've got an extra inch and a half. So that just allows for that little bit of extra growth. And so... It looks a bit funny now because it's got all the stuff inside it. But there we go. Look, so I've got matching pair. I've got, there we go. Twins. <laughs> um, and this one, I say this one, I just made this one out of, this was a stripey, it looked stripey. Um, but what happened was it was like, it changed colour sort of every sort of, you know, if I actually made a chain, it changed colour from the white to the blue after six chains. So because I was working in chains of five, it gave this, really really pretty pattern and i was like really surprised so if you come across some um and I, I, but other yarns obviously it, it looks lovely but this one i think you know because of the pattern on the inside and the way that this then curves inwards you could just get me a little get me model back it's a good job it's not real isn't it poor child <laughs> get done for child abuse there we go there we go look there then that's my my you can see how it sort of curves it inwards. Um, but it is, you can see it's a little bit big. So perhaps this one's probably going to be like sort of um, 15 and a half to 16 inches. So definitely I'm going to say this is like more towards a three month old baby. Um, I'm sorry, I'm like I really rambled on and like it's been the strangest video. And I'm blaming my deja vu moment completely for distracting me. So thank you for watching thank you for liking thank you for sharing thank you for subscribing and say please do have comments have you ever experienced a deja vu moment or have you had something just like a little bit weird happen to you i'd love to know because as i say I, I know i don't i know i don't reply to you and i'm awful for that and i'd love to sit there and reply but then i think i'd be there like forever in a day and so i'm really mean um but so I'm not really mean, you know I'm not really mean, I'm just like, I don't know, useless YouTuber. Okay, so thank you for watching, thank you for liking, thank you for sharing, thank you for subscribing, bye for now.